You say the big concern when it comes to US-China relations right now is more so based on trade and economic and less so on strategic issues. Just wondering if you could elaborate on that for us. Well, nice to be with you this morning. And yeah, I think that's absolutely right. I mean, when you look at the incentives uh, in both countries, uh, you know, we look at China, a year of political transition, uh, clearly coming out of the National People's Congress this week, there's uh, an imperative from the government to keep things stable. Uh, and in the U.S., obviously, the Trump administration has a, a broad and significant set of domestic priorities that it wants to accomplish. And so, you know, I think Trump has made it very clear uh, he, he is interested in, in pushing harder against China on trade and economic issues. Uh, but when you look at the incentives in both places, I think on the strategic front, the overriding incentive really is to, to try to keep the relationship stable. And how do you think uh, the Chinese and also America can... Uh, you know, what do you make of this Chinese-American uh, relationship and how does uh, North Korea also factor into that? Uh, China, North Korea very much in play here when it comes to this, uh, uh, the latest developments that we've heard overnight. Uh, do you want to weigh in on that situation as well? What's your take on the situation in North Korea right now? Yes, I, I actually think that's probably the area. North Korea specifically is probably the issue where, uh, you know, there is the biggest level of complication in terms of U.S.-China relations. I mean, uh, President Donald Trump has been very clear here in the U.S. that, uh, you know, he views uh, very strongly that China needs to take more concerted action to influence behavior in North Korea. We're actually seeing some indications that China is actually trying to find some ways to do that. And I think that probably, at least in part, explains uh, some of the more aggressive behavior we've seen from the North, uh, even just over the weekend, right, in a way that's been a, a big distraction to China's National People's Congress. So that's the area I think it's absolutely the case when you look at 2017. North Korea is going to continue to get more aggressive. Uh, they're committed to, you know, basically having the, the global community view them as a, a nuclear state. Um, and obviously the U.S. is, is not going to be willing to accept that.